Hello, I thought I would do a quick video today just to show you the back end of what the Learner History membership site looks like when you purchase an account. Now, um, I am really, really excited to show this to you because for one, I'm actually really excited to use this with my own kids. Now, I've said before, I do have all of the DVDs from when I was a subscriber quite a few years ago when they just had the DVDs that they sent in the mail. And so um, I just thought I would, over the weekend, I got an account set up for um, myself here on Learner History so that I could go into the back end just to show you guys what it looks like. And it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna get started here. Now, when you log into the Learner History website, you'll log in either as a parent or as a student. So this is the parent portal. So this is when you log in as the parent, it will go to um, this website where you can go in and set up your student accounts. If you click on the student accounts up here, if you click on instructions, it will give you um, a detailed list of how to do your, um, how to set up your kids' accounts. And then if you click on manage student accounts, this is what it brings up. There's a place for you to put in six children here and you set up their username and passwords here. Here's where you can put an image if you wanna put a picture of your child there and that way when they log in to their student account, they can easily see that it is their account. So that's how you set up your students. Now in the parent portal, you can go to the video lessons. And like I said before, I have all of the DVDs. And so because I had a previous account and I've already purchased all of these, I actually have all of the learner history videos in here. But what I wanted to show you is that when your kids, um, this is what they are going to see. They're going to see their video lessons, but as a, the parent, when you go into one of these videos, it has some extra information for you here. It's going to have the video. It's going to have a brief summary of what the video is about. And then if you click here to download the parent guide, it's a PDF file that you can print out. It has the lesson summary. And then there's like a timeline. And this information is also on the student account, and I'm going to show you that in a little bit, but they have it all together here in one PDF file for you. So it has a timeline of the events that are talked about in the video. It has a glossary of people and things that are talked about, a little more information about things that are in the video. And then there are... For each of the videos, there's three different types of quizzes. There's a true and false quiz, and so in the teachers, uh, in the teacher or in this in this in the parent account, it has a listing of all of the questions that are in the the student portal when they take their quizzes. So there's the true and false qu uh, quiz. There's a multiple choice quiz. And then for older students, or just to use for discussion questions, there's a list of discussion questions. And then there's the answers to the true and false and multiple choice. So that is all in the parent portal. Now, the other thing that you can see is that you can check the progress of your students. So if you click on progress report, this will list, now I have not done very much with my kids yet since I just got this set up over the weekend, but I went in and just did a couple things so you can see. But each of your kids that has worked in the program, you'll see their names pop up here and you can just click on their name and you can see which video that they've worked on. It'll put a check mark here if they have watched the video and then it will put information here. Uh, Rachel has not done any of the quizzes. Wesley, under my son Wesley, he's watched the video and looks like done the true and false questions. And it looks like he hasn't done the others. So that just kind of gives you some ideas of what they're working on and um, kind of the progress that they're making through the, um, through the videos. 
So the other thing that I wanted to show you, I think that's pretty much all for the parent portal. But one thing I wanted to show you is that when your, any of your kids complete one of the quizzes, it will actually send you a, an email and it will show you that, you know, Wesley's completed the true false quiz for the Columbus and the Great Discovery video lesson. And then it will show you what he answered and what he got right and what he got wrong. So that's just another way that you can kind of keep tabs on what your kids are learning and what they're working on. So that is the parent portal. Now I'm going to log out here and I'm going to log into one of my kids' accounts so that you can see. If I typed it in right. All right. Oops, that's why it's not working. I've got to go to the student. Ah, sorry about this, guys. All right, let me get logged into Wesley's. All right, now I am logged into Wesley's student account. So here it shows the video lesson. So that's this first link here. It will show the video lessons. And so when your student, when your child goes into their account, they can just click on the videos that you have access to at the time and they can watch the video. Um, they can, let me just pull one up. So here they can watch the video. They can look at the lesson summary, which is the same information that's in the teacher's part of it, but that is there for them to read. Here is the glossary, which was in that. If you click on it, it will open up a separate PDF file, but that's the glossary of the people and things that are in that video. The same thing with the timeline. If they click on the timeline, it will open up the page of the timeline. So they can, you know, they can print those things if they want to, or they can, you know, just look at them on their computer. And then these are the three different quiz options. And you can choose what you want to do. I know some, some parents who have pretty young children, they will just do the true and false or the multiple choice with them. And if they're not reading yet, they just read the questions and have them see if they can answer it. Um, but it's it's really just to be an extra tool for you to help um, motivate them to learn and to really listen to the video when they're watching. Uh, the discussion questions, these are, you know, are fun for older kids. You can, you know, use that so they can practice their writing skills. Um, and so you can choose what you want to do with there. Now, one thing I want to point out too is that when the kids answer questions and do these quizzes and watch the videos, they accumulate points. Now you'll notice this little sticker up here. It says National Leaderboard 91. Now when they get, let me just go to the progress report. Okay, the progress report for the, in the student account, this will show what they've watched, what they've done. If they've not done some of the quizzes, they could always go back to that video and, and do different quizzes if they want to, to get more points. But the leaderboard, the national leaderboard is um, where they can accumulate points and move up on the national leaderboard. So, I mean, Wesley has not done very much, obviously, but he is 91 on the leaderboard. And so it's kind of fun, you know, if I would scroll way down to 91, we would see, Oh, I guess it's 94. Wesley Moundridge. So um, it's just kind of a fun thing for them to motivate them to do the quizzes and to learn and to watch their name move up in the rank. So obviously the more videos they watch, the more quizzes they do, the more points they get. So that's just kind of a fun way to motivate them. So I showed you the video lessons. Again, this is the student account the video lessons, their progress uh, report, and the leaderboard. So again, you will not have access, unless you've been a previous uh, Learner History customer, you won't have access to all these videos like I do because I've already purchased them in the past. But you will get access to four new ones every month and they'll be added to your account. 
and you can work through them. You know, if you want to do one a week or however you want to work through them, you can work through them at your own pace. I do want to note too, that if you start to get an accumulation of lessons and maybe you're not working through them quite as quickly, you can contact customer service and they can put like a temporary hold on your account, which means that you'll have access to the ones that you've purchased, but you won't be charged for any new ones and you won't get any new ones until that hold is taken off. And I don't remember exactly how long you can put a hold on your account if it's like for a month or two. Um, but anyway, that's something that you can consider too down the road if you get too many building up and you need to take a break. So I hope that has helped you see in on the inside of what the Learner History membership is. It's a great environment for kids to be able to watch videos and learn US history in a fun way. And it really is effective. Like I've said before, my kids have learned so much US history by watching the learner history videos. And I'm really excited for them now to be able to get on here and watch some of these again, and to take the quizzes and just to have fun, refreshing their memory and learning more even that they've maybe forgotten. So Anyway, I hope that has helped and I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and looking inside. Again, if you have any questions about Learn Our History, please feel free to contact me and I'll put the contact links uh, with this video, but just feel free to email me or send me a message on Facebook. Just let me know and I'll be more than willing to help you out. Thanks.